Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, a presenter here at BOTB. And we're here this morning to judge the latest midweek car competition, which ran from the 8th to the 14th of April 2021. And just before I hand over to the lawyer this morning, once again, massive congratulations to last week's winner of the midweek car competition, Ian Bully winning, there it is, a brand new Audi RS Q3 plus £30,000. I'd now like to pass over to this morning's lawyer from Onside Law who will oversee the proceedings this morning. My name is George Cottle from Onside Law and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditing company as is. I would now like the, today's judges to introduce themselves and using the secure link provided, mark on the screen where they think the centre of the ball should be. The group will then come to a final panel decision. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and footballer and looking forward to playing this weekend. Hi, my name is Aramin Donka. I've been involved in football for over 30 years, firstly as a player and then as a referee. Hi, my name is Matthew Ray. I've affiliated in multiple counties across England, currently in Gloucestershire, and I've refereed from grassroots through to professional academies. Name's Liam Walsh. I'm a retired referee. I'm currently an FA Observer and head coach for the Middlesex Referees Academy. Good morning. My name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer, having played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Hi, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years and I'm now a senior county referee. Good morning, my name's Andy Braithwaite and I'm a football referee, mentor and licensed observer. Hi, I'm Jenna Scalacci, former professional footballer. I'm now a head coach in a Tottenham College programme. Good morning, my name's Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee, a mentor, a tutor and observer. Hi, I'm Joe Thompson, former professional footballer, I used to play at Rochdale and Tranmere Rovers and now the host of my own BBC radio show. Judges, please now come to a final panel decision. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the 10 individual selections. Thank you very much, George. Good morning, everybody. Morning, Good morning, Matt. Good morning. morning. So morning. We've, got, we've got three players in shot. There's a player in the background looking at, I think, that looking at the ball in the general direction of it's dropping down to his teammate he's sort of crouching down a bit mouth open eyes looking up to the ball um, to play it uh, and the player in yellow is obviously turning his head um, so he's following the ball I believe as it's going across the uh, uh, the shot left to right um, I will draw some lines in from this player his eyes are sort of in line so I'll take it from his sort of just between <laughs> his eyes and we come up uh, through Joe, who's ever slightly higher uh, than everybody else on this eye line of this player and, and in line with Alain. And from this player down here, we have two really good eyes. We have Joe's, which is quite a way out to the left of uh, everybody else's and coming up into a line up through Kieran and Andy's on the right-hand side. Um, so, Joe, I'll come straight to you. I'll um, highlight yours. You're, you're quite a long way out um, to the left as we're looking at the photo. And how did you see the shot and what did you think was happening um, as the shot is? When I look at this now, I think making my debut, I've, uh, I've messed up a little bit here, but I've gone off the player, the player in yellow in a sense of I feel like the ball's popped up and he's now looking over his shoulder and yep. it's travelling from left to right as we look at it. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with you. As I said, it, it goes through the line. Um, if I draw another line um, lower, where it goes through our is actually obviously quite a lot lower than... Uh, I'll undo that one and draw it out from where he passed his eye. Because we have areas that's, that's also a lot lower than, than yours. So it's quite a big, what we call a, quite a big quadrant um, um, to have the selection in. But... but um, Thanks for your input. It's obviously uh, um, a debut thing, but uh, it's it is what it is. Uh, Ari, you've gone um, obviously lower than than everybody else, and and can you tell me how you've reached this decision? Uh, I mean, look. 
Uh, yes, um, I felt that the player in between playing yellow, he, he, he had jump in between both, both players in red and white. Uh, he misjudged the trajectory of the ball. And while, while landing, he, he's looking over his shoulder. And when I zoom, zoomed in um, his, his, his eyes, I felt that he's, he's looking really to the corner of his, of his eyes. And I felt that he's looking slightly, um, almost, almost horizontally, above, above horizontal. That's yeah, why I, that's why I went. I went for that for that uh, for that position. And the player in front of the pitcher playing where he's looking really focused. Ball, I think I feel he's just uh, he's just in front of him. Um, yeah, uh, that 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 was the main reason. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I'll come, Alain. I'll come to you. You're at, at the top of this sort of um, group of, uh, of choices. How did you see this? Because you're sort of roughly in line with uh, where Joe's uh, yeah. and Matthew's choices. Yeah. No. Uh, no basically, um, you know, when you when you look at the you know the fa facial expressions of the the two players at the front, they look a bit surprised. So I thought the the ball might have been deflected, and uh, and the players were reacting. Um, but looking at the play on the left, I think he was looking you know uh, a bit higher. Um, when you when you look at his, uh, especially his uh, left eye, uh, I think he was looking a bit higher than uh, most of my colleagues. Yeah, and uh, yeah, no, I, I think you know the ball being in the in the foreground also. I think uh, you know he needs a bit of time, you know, to come down to the players. Uh, that's why uh, I went a bit higher. Yeah, sure. I mean, this player obviously is crouching, ready to to take, and he's very focused. He's he's not being challenged. So, yeah, uh, uh, Matthew, you're just below Alain. Uh, I'll magnify yours. Um, how did you see the picture and what was going on? Yeah, I, I, I think it's it's worth bringing in the context that this is a very 3D image for for me as I, as I'm looking at it. I think the ball is is out towards us as as we see it, um, and I think uh, obviously agree agree with most people in the in the red and white player, but the the player in yellow, I, I see his face, I see his eyebrows are raised. His, his his head is is craned up, trying to look over his shoulder. So I I just see the ball a, a little bit higher up, like like Alan really. Yeah, I mean it's a very good point you make that it's it's three D. The ball's in front of this player in red. So you know, looking at this player, he's not looking through his nose. He's looking in front of his nose. So the ball is out in front of this this red player. Um, so that that's a really good point made. Thank you, um, Jenna. You're uh, in the middle of, a, of of the choices here. Highlighted yours, uh, and I'll put the the magnifier over yours. Uh, how did you see the photo? Uh, similarly to, to Matt and Alan, really. I think uh, the player in red and white, he's fully focused. He's on the floor. Um, that's why I've gone a high. I don't think it's immediately about to drop into him. Um, and then I've taken the eye line of the guy in yellow and just taken a lot from his eyebrows. Um, and they are like raised. So I took that as the ball was slightly higher. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. And Andy, you're just to the right of Jenna's here. You're, you're highlighting yours. I'll magnify it. Um, you're just ever so slightly to the right as we're looking at the photograph. Um, any other thoughts on, on the picture or what was happening? Um, thanks, Matt. P pretty similar to, to what we'll echo in what Jenna just said there. Uh, for me, the guy in red and white um, in front, he's, he's obviously crouching, looking up at the ball. Um, slightly to the left, very slightly to the left of centre because he's looking into it. Um, obviously, it's his 2D picture, but looking in 3D. Uh, yeah. The guy for me in yellow, the way he's glancing back, again, as previously said, his eyebrow raised just gives me that slight elevated um, position just above the, 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 the cluster below us. Yeah. So I'm in agreement there with um, Alan, uh, Jenna, Matthew. Yeah, understand. And, and apart from Mario, I've obviously taken um, the group of five above um, this this average here yeah. that I'm highlighting now, and, and there's obviously five below, which is the split. Yeah. Um, um, Hugh, you're just here uh, highlighting there. You're just ever slightly on the right hand side. How did you see the shot and what was happening? Yeah, agreed. I think the big thing is how how kind of far ahead of him it is, given that it's in the foreground. Yeah, um, I just felt yeah, as has been said. Um, player in yellows, kind of craning, looking over his shoulder, looking up slightly for me. Yeah. Um, and then the player in red, I've just felt it's in front of him, but he's looking up towards it. If that makes sense. So it's not yes, level yeah. with him. He's looking up, but it's 
no, it's absolutely. A distance from him because he's not moving to play it yet. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, Kieran, uh, yours highlighted here, you're just ever so slightly to the right in sort of in line with Andy's, who's a little bit further up. Um, how, how have you seen this? Yeah, I, thanks, Matt. I, I tend to agree with most of the other judges. I, I'm just taking a little bit from the player in at the back, the one that's furthest away. That I think yeah. his eye line. I, I do agree the ball is in the in the foreground in front, and we're using a 3D picture here, but it's not that far away from those players. And I think the player in the back is looking very flat and horizontal and that's why I didn't think although I agree with most of the colleagues when they say I've put mine a little bit lower because of that I think that the player in yellow we can't see because the eye is right in the corner we can't see exactly whether he's looking flatter or a little bit higher it's not easy to detect exactly how low he's or low or high he's looking yeah. but I took a little bit from the player at the back thinking that he's looking even if it's in the foreground he's not looking that high and I think he may be focusing the ball and that's why I placed mine a little bit lower than some of my colleagues yeah, thank you very much. Uh, and and before I, I do, I will change some lines and, and and remove a couple of people at the minute. But uh, um, Liam, you're here as well. You're in this um, this small group of four just below uh, this average. Uh, again, I'll highlight yours there. Uh, how did you see this? Uh, much uh, to what the guys who are below the average are saying, and I fully agree with Kieran's comment that you know I've written it down. The guy in the background has to see the ball for me. Yeah. Uh, with his eye line. I know you can't actually get that, you know, get some lines coming out from him, but he has to have a, a, a view of it. But what I used for the, the guy in yellow was I, I took a line through both his eyes because for me, he's looking into the foreground, but looking, you know, his eyes are that way. Yeah. I, I pulled a line through him uh, to give me, give me that, that height. Yeah, understand because uh, because I yeah. am going to re, uh, redraw the lines in a minute, which will hopefully uh, help with with your explanation. And I may come back to you in a second, Liam, once I've done that. So okay. uh, I'll undo some lines. Um, I'm going to remove you, Joe, for the minute um, because I think you're what we call an outlier. You're 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 far enough away from the main group um, to for me to just to remove you. Uh, although your comments of how are obviously very important, um, and I'm going to redraw lines as Liam has said through this player's eyes so that's why he's gone we've got Aries down there so I'm going to bring it up to Kieran's there and again if it goes slightly higher up to Alan's at the top um, I'm now also going to draw up from this player in red so this is quite a tight narrow um, view up from this player so it, it's very sort of small right to left. And it's just the height of it. Um, I've obviously left areas you'll see uh, out the bottom of here, because if I, oh, no, sorry, last one, although it's difficult to draw a line through, I think that this player here, we can happily say is looking in the direction of this ball. He's looking up through into this ball. I'll remove him because it looks a little bit messy, but uh, I think it's important that he's looking up. So if I, um, at the moment, remove areas as well, it brings us up into a tighter cluster with four above and four below. And that's part of the reasoning to remove areas. It's not because it's, it's necessarily away from the cluster, but it helps to balance it a little bit with Kieran popping out the bottom and, and Alan at the top. So uh, Liam, as I said, I'll come back to you um, now and, and, and basically ask your opinion about this. And, um, do you think that this is a better solution? Uh, yes. I'm going to give you a yes, uh, Matt, that you've got the four four above, four below. It gives it that average in the middle. Unfortunately for Joe and for Ari, just uh, a little bit outside. But, um, yeah, it, uh, that that's the factors for me are the DI line of the, of the guy in yellow, as I previously described, that yeah. sort of skewer through both the both of his eyes um because we're all really in agreement with the guy in red we he's yeah. in that channel um and for me uh, using as kieran mentioned and as i noted the, about the guy in the, in the in the background having a clear view it, it focus on the ball so, yeah thank thank you very much i mean it's, it's also i think important I, I mentioned four and four and if if Ari's low down it does skew it quite a bit further down which is as we've talked about before, you know, an awful lot of pixels. Um, so, so Ari, I'll, I'll come to you, but just you're on the, on the list below myself. Um, um, 
obviously your uh, selection is valid down here, uh, but as a, as a as a panel decision of all ten of us, are you happy that it's it's moving slightly up? Yes, I, I agree with the the the, the reasoning. Uh, okay. Totally, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Matthew. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that as an average. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thank you, uh, Alain. Yeah, happy with that. Yeah. Great, uh, Kieran. Yes, happy with that, Matt. Thank you, Andy. Yes, happy with that, Matt. Yeah, uh, Jenna. Yes, happy with that. Uh, Hugh. Yep, happy. Uh, and lastly, Joe, I know we've removed you, but uh, uh, do you understand the, the the logic behind what we're trying to do and and, and how yeah. we're looking at the photo? Yeah, no, all good with me. Great, lovely, thank you. Um, so, George, after a good discussion, uh, we've decided to go through with this um, uh, this point here as calculated there with uh, Joe and Ari's um, choices removed. Okay, great, thanks everyone. Uh, so, if everyone's happy, please go ahead and, and select submit. Great, thanks judges. Uh, the coordinates selected are 28951100. These coordinates will now be passed to the auditing company ASETS to calculate the winner of the competition and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thanks again, everybody. Yeah.